How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing this random assortment of Sword and Shield booster packs. It's been a little while since I've done a Sword and Shield only opening, you know, mainly being busy with Scarlet and Violet era, or Japanese openings. So I thought we'd go back to the last generation, and maybe we can find an alternate art into one of these. Um, but without further ado, let's just open this single Astro Radiance pack right away. It's the only one we have, but I do have to admit, Astro Radiance is actually up there among my my favorite sets from the Sword and Shield era. So many good cards in here between the Palkia V-Star, or Origin Form Palkia, or Dialga V-Star. Also a bunch of cool trainers, but not in this one, unfortunately. Just a non-holographic Shaman. We do have a code card here for you, there you go. Alright, seeing as I do have a bunch of Lost Origin, let's attack that side next. And man, I do really like these kinds of opening with like a lot of like different packs. Because it's always nice to just like not open the same pack. Always good to have some variety in my opinion. Very, very nice. Let's see what we can find here. Yo, Thornton Rainbow Rare, not bad. That is a full art trainer. And you do know that I am very, very fond of those. Here's the code card for that one. And I'll guess we place the Thornton up here. Nice, that was a really, really good pull. What do we do next? I guess Silver Tempest is next. Also been a while since I've opened Silver Tempest. I mean, ever since I pulled that Lugia V alternate art, um, I really, I was done with, with Silver Tempest, really. You know, that was like the best card you could pull from the set, so... That's why I was done. Um, I might not be done with Fusion Strike, Milo Tick. Non-holographic, but that's a beautiful looking illustration nonetheless. So I was done with, with Silver Tempest. I thought I was done with Fusion Strike, only having pulled bad things from it. Uh, but oh well, maybe this can change the opening. We do only have two chances, although I already know how, how they're gonna go. I'm very, very familiar with... Um, with Fusion Strike and how horrible the pull rates are from those. But let's see. Hey, maybe I can change my mind. Almost skipped the reverse right here. And a Surviper Gen 3 Pokemon, that's good. We do need the Gen 3 Pokemon, there you go. There is the code card. Almost threw that away without showing it, that would have been bad. Okay, let's attack one more Lost Origin pack. And then I think we're gonna open a Fusion Strike pack next. Um, just as I said in my shorts video recently, I'm not holding my breath for these for these fusion strike packs because I do know how rough the the pull rates are from those. Hey, that's a cool trainer gallery card. Nice. And a holographic. Yo, these are not promised in the Sword and Shield era. So technically this counts as a pull. V Star Marker, and here is the code card for that one. Very nice. Hey, a Snorlax. Just munching on some stuff. Very, very cool. Put you right there. And then Fusion Strike. Had really, really bad luck with these. These also feel kind of odd. I had packs like these before. They feel kind of waxy. Almost, if that's a way to describe them. We'll see. Maybe that's a good sign, though. Maybe, maybe these will give us some great pulls. But we shall see Snom. That's already a good pull. We have a reverse and an electrode, you know, was kind of expecting that to be honest. Here's the code code for that one though. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right. One more Lost Origin and I think after that we're going to open one chilling rain pack. One chilling rain pack. Also, I'm trying something out with this video. Um, I do try to, to keep them shorter from now on, if I can, you know, sometimes it's just not possible. With the mail dates, for, mail dates, for example, there's just no way to keep them short. Blip Buck twice, okay, and a Mr. Mime. Blip Buck two times in a row, but unfortunately that wasn't lucky for us. Still only gotten a non-holographic rare. Chilling Rain. I do have pretty much all the alternate arts from Chilling Rain I ever want. Albeit they are very off-centered. Off I I wouldn't mind a um, a Moltres, a Galarian Moltres in like better centering than I have. It is comically off-centered. Like real talk, comically off-centered. Whirlipede. 
and a Zep Striker. Nope, not in this one, unfortunately. But here is the code card at the very, very least. Go enjoy that one. Good luck to whoever gets that one. Okay. Yes, Silver Tempest with the Lugia pack art. Maybe it can give us the Lugia V. Hey, I did pull the Umbreon, the Umbreon V Max, the Moonbreon, from an Umbreon pack art. Evolving Skies, that was something. Still have that one framed up. We'll probably never let it go. That was something special. Del Fox. And a Rapidash holographic. Right, well, that's a holographic. Here is the code card for that one. And put the bulk over in yonder direction. Okay, what do we do next? I guess Lost Origin, then Chilling Rain, and then we do the last Fusion Strike pack. So yeah, I'm trying to keep these videos a bit shorter from now on, you know, where I can. Sometimes that just won't work. For example, cheap cards usually tend to go for like 10 to 15 minutes just to give you as many cards as I can. But I think going forward for these openings, at least I'll do try to... Yo, Giratina V! Not bad. The full art. I do try to to keep them as short as possible. That's the wrong direction meant to do these right here. Okay, Chilling Pain. Now that's a pretty good pull. I saw the Giratina V for a second and I thought it was gonna be the, the full art or the alternate art. But no, just the just the normal full art. Still a very, very cool pull. Actually, I can put you up here now. Um, hang on. Wanted to open this first. <laughs> Getting all confused by that single pull. Oh boy. Oh boy. I also have um, a few Chinese openings upcoming. You know, ever since I opened that that first anniversary gift box. I've been really itching to open like booster boxes from the from the Chinese sets. And I did get the um the what is it? Gathering Nine Powers Gathering or whatever or Gathering Friends, something like that. And it's basically essentially what it is. It's EV Heroes and Fusion Arts, the Japanese sets, so Fusion Strike and Evolving Skies, if you will. And these are due to arrive, I think, next week or the week after. I don't know. I'd have to check. But that's what you can expect on the channel in the near future. Some Chinese openings, which is going to be very, very nice in my opinion. I've also bought a, a bunch of Chinese cards, you know, ever since laying my hands on one and finding out that the texture is exactly the same as the Japanese one, but they're usually a fraction of the cost. I've been really, really buying a lot of Chinese cards recently, and I do quite a look quite like them. I mean, what what else am I going to buy? You know, I do got to save my money, so why not do it like that, eh? Let's see what we can find in this last Silver Tempest pack. Maybe some some last Silver Pet or Silver Tempest Magic here. Nope, just a Noivern non-holographic. We did get some pretty nice cards, though. The Giratina Full Art, the Thornton, Rainbow Rare Trainer, and the Rainbow Rare Trainers, real talk, are actually kind of growing on me. I didn't really like him at first, but right now they're really, really growing on me. Here we have a Love Disc, a Gliga Wormpole, got a Rhyhorn, lovely illustrated. We've got a Murkrow. A bomb of snow, and we've got a Drapion V. Nice. That's another pull. That's another pull in the book. And there is no code card. Wait, did I miss the code card or something? No, it appears there was no code card for that one. I feel I feel a bit scammed, but it's fine. It's fine. A single pack of chilling rain remains. Let's see what we can find in this one. Let's see. I might do the card trick if I can. So let's see. Let me just pull this out very carefully. There we go. Here is the code card. At least we get a code card for, for that one. And then we do one, two, three to the front. We'll put this right here. Because that's the energy. And then we're going to see if we do have some lost pack magic in this one. Oregon, we've already seen that one. We've got a Swirlix. A Sneasel cutting up some berries. We've got a Snover. We've got a Blitzel. We've got Weeding Gloves. We've got our Darkness Energy. 
And we have a Slurpuff as the last card. You know what, that's fine. I'm still pretty happy with the pulls. I mean, the Giratina V or the Giratina V Full Art, that's definitely the star of this opening. And it does look pretty lovely. I kind of I kind of like it, honestly. Wouldn't have minded the alternate art, but you know, we'll, we'll just let that slip for now. Since, you know, Sword and Shield era packs, I don't open them that much anymore. But there we have it. That were my pulls from all these packs. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.